What's up Dollyverse? This is Gypsy and today I have a really special video for you. This is like a monumental moment in my collecting uh, journey. And as you can see, I've got some of my Integrity Girls here because they are curiously awaiting a new doll to our collection. And this is my first male Integrity Toys doll that I purchased. It's also the first Integrity Toys doll that I purchased because all of these girls here were sent to us by our really wonderful subscribers. And I haven't actually bought my own Integrity doll yet. so. It's kind of a double whammy here, and oh, by the way, um, I pulled out my sewing machine finally and got started practicing on making clothes. So this was the first outfit that I made that Griselda has on. It's still super rough. I have like way farther to go before I can consider it good, but. So here's the order that I made. I did get a Heart MLP doll, and I also ordered something else, which guys, again, this is not my usual thing. I never spend this kind of money on anything doll related, <laughs> but I did, I had to get it. It was too dope. It was too hip hop for me to pass up on, so I had to, get this this outfit was 45 freaking dollars okay and we're gonna take a look at it and see if it was worth the money we'll try it on on the doll um so the one that i purchased here's the box for this one so the doll that i ordered here is the box that he comes in and i saw a couple of reviews on suresh's channel for his heart MLP dolls and the boxes are all the same they just have the different characters on it so my dude is the one that's supposed to be inspired by rainbow dash and I believe integrity called him sonic rainbow 92 or something like that and um and there's the bottom of the box okay interesting and yeah, the box is shaped like um, a hexagon. So you're gonna see there's a lever here and you just pull this, this yellow um, ribbon and the top just kinda slips off like that. Very interesting looking box. And of course, I'm not one of these people that collects and like saves things in boxes and whatnot, but this box is so interesting. I think I probably am going to end up keeping it. And as you can see, the shape is being held together by this um, part that's inserted, which is like rectangular. And let's pull him out of there. Oh gosh. All right, so here is what I'm seeing out of the box. My ladies are like. They are very excited. I can feel their energy. They're all like, mm. <laughs> which one of us is going to get him? Don't worry, ladies. I've got more on the way. And there's his little feet. Oh, my God. He's amazing, you guys. He's amazing. But we're going to take a really good look at him. First, there's this cardboard box that's inserted here with tabs on the side of the box and that is where all his accessories are being held it's a little drawer that's got all his accessories in there and the doll himself is attached to the box simply with ribbons which I really adore the way that Integrity packages their dolls I mean they really package them in such a way that it's very convenient for people who like to play with their dolls and redress their dolls and display them to remove them from the packaging and to neatly put them back in if they choose to do so. And to me, that represents someone who is an actual doll collector um, or someone who, who thinks like a doll collector producing these products. So I do appreciate the way that they do that. 
Um, so this is his doll stand and it's attached in the box with a bit of tape. So let's carefully remove that. I don't want to mess this box up. It's very unique and I might reuse it for something later on or if I'm transferring my dolls or something I might want to pack them back up into his box. Alright, I'm a little bit slow. I just realized that the whole box kind of comes apart in the back. Um, because there's more tabs here that you have to open, which I didn't initially see. So, we're going to do that. Okay, all these technical difficulties on my end. But here we go. This is how you get to the back of the box. And then you can get to the ribbons, which should free him. And you can get to his stand base, which is taped in there, in the back. I got his stand put together, and it's three pieces that you just snap in place. What I did notice is that there are actually two holes where you can change the position of where you want his um, stand so that I guess you can pose him more conveniently. And also it comes out of this little section so that it can get taller so you can change it with the height of your doll. I feel like the stand is not the most stable I mean, it looks fantastic, but it doesn't seem strong, and he's not, like, gripped in there. He's just kind of resting against it, but initially it does the job, and it looks really cool. It has the heart MLP uh, writing on the front and all the cool colors from the box, so it definitely will look nice if you are um, displaying your dolls in this collection together and I like the metal in the stand too. See how it's just like metal back there? I like that it has a very sleek modern look to it. It doesn't look all plasticky and cheap so I really do like the way it looks. As far as functionality, eh, it leaves a little mm, to be desired. So this guy, he right now is just he's exactly the way that he came out of the box we're gonna add his accessories to him so here is the drawer here it is and it's a picture of rainbow dash chilling on a cloud and when you slide it open which it does open very easily it's got all his little accessories in there we've got a pair of sneakers we've got a pair of sunglasses Ooh, an extra set of hands. To me, this makes him worth it, like, just for the hands alone. <laughs> and a really cute knapsack, which is um, got Rainbow Dash's pictures on it, and it looks very comic bookish. Look at how big it is in comparison to the doll. It's very nice size, so it's not like this tiny little dainty piece of fabric. It's huge. You can fit a lot of stuff in here, probably including his shoes. So first his sunglasses. They have yellow lenses and what's really cool about them is that the 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 glasses actually like fold like real glasses do. See, they have little hinges and you can close them so you can do something cool like hang it onto his clothes like how we do in real life. Isn't that so neat? I love that, I love that, I love that. Okay, <laughs> he looks so cute. Yeah, they're pretty neat, I like them. Isn't that interesting? He's got a rainbow colored mohawk, much like Rainbow Dash's character does in the cartoon. And, <laughs> that's so interesting. And then look, you've got drawstrings here to actually like keep your hood closed or whatever. That is a lot of really amazing detail. And speaking of details, you've got to see this. Yo, what is up with this, okay? Look at this. These shoes, first of all, these are like real shoes. There is no plastic here, you guys. This is like straight up fabric, tiny, tiny, tiny fabric that they cut just like a real pair of shoes with like the leather here and the canvas and all of that here. He's even got a 
hung in there it's all fabric um, I know you can't see on camera but he actually has like a sole in the bottom so hard to see on camera though um, on the inside and it's black and then look at this this is the one that really like threw me off I used to sell sneakers okay I managed the sneaker store for years so I can appreciate the detail and realism in these things they really look like Air Maxes. Like this part here is like a gel bottom. And they really look like the part of the shoes where like the air bubbles would go. Oh man, these are really sick. Look at those ridges. I mean, it's textured. This is amazing work. And it also has the little part in the back that you pull on to get it over your, your heel. That is sick, you guys. This... I don't think I own one pair of doll shoes that's this level of like authentic. I do have some really good ones from China, but those are not fabric. There's no fabric on those shoes. So this is amazing. The shoes are amazing. And the shoes do have a right and a left foot. It's really subtle, but there there definitely is a difference between each side. So the level of artistry and detail that has gone into just the accessories alone on this doll is well worth it and here is his bag and let's put this stuff on him I put his other hands inside just to see my goal was to put the shoe on without actually untying the laces and I was able to do it so he can just slip them on and off the laces I figured would be a biatch trying to lace back up if I unlaced it and before I put the other shoe on I just want to show you guys this, his feet are articulated and he's got actual nail beds. That's just freaking crazy. So, I just slipped them on like that. I had to pull on the tongue to make sure it didn't get um, stuck in there. And then I just slip the back part over his foot. Oh, there we go. You guys, I tell you, it is a whole nother feeling having Integrity Toys guy dolls. Something about them. I feel like it's even more exciting than the girl dolls. Like the girls, it's a given that they're going to be beautiful. They're going to be on some supermodel status. It's a given. But the boys, I mean, you just don't really know until you like hold it in your hand and you're looking at it. There's such perfection. Oh my goodness. There's a different level of beauty compared to Ken and I, I don't know how to explain it but this is amazing look at that he's so cute he looks so fun and carefree and has so much personality oh love it all right so Sonic Rain Boom now has all his accessories on he's got his glasses he's got his bag and his sneakers and they look amazing on him. I think his um, shoelaces are a little too long. But I'll have to make some adjustments to that later. To get it looking just right. So, that's what you get for $130 directly from Integrity. And now we're going to examine him a little bit closer and look at all of his clothes and stuff. So I'm going to take that off of him real quick, okay, very easy and it's made of like a vinyl kind of material so it's not cloth, it's not like just traditional fabric, it's vinyl, it's like plasticky and his jacket has a working zipper, teeny tiny little zipper, oh it's so cute, it's so cute. And he's got on a shirt underneath. So we're gonna pull this off. And the, the jacket, it's got like the cropped bottom. It has real pockets. See, you can put things in the pockets and maybe even his hands can go in there. If it could reach, I'm not sure if it can. Uh, maybe not. But yeah, he can put stuff in his pocket. And see all of this and look it. The inside is completely lined. Let's take this off for a second. Just like a real jacket, you guys. Look at that. It's so 
so beautiful. It's totally lined. It's stretchy, kind of sweatpants kind of material with layers of fabric. Oh, it's beautiful. That will look cute on my girls too. And here's his 20% cooler rainbow dash shirt, which fits very tight on him and it's got Velcro in the back. Short sleeves. And he's got pants that have drawstring again. And pockets. He can put his hands in these pockets for sure. Deep enough. Amazing. And a back pocket. Oh, how cute. Put his little cell phone in there. And the pants also have like a, it's like a jogger style. And the material is like that too. So realistic. We're going to pull his clothing off so we can see his body because we are going to redress him too. You can see that the stitching is all very good. Very clean, neat, straight stitches. Man, I'm still working on that. I'll learn how to keep my fabric steady while I'm stitching. Because that's one of my challenges right now as I'm learning to sew with a machine. Very, very good stitching here. That is really good. So there's the shirt, and it's black. And then the pants, interestingly enough, they have this little layer on the inside that's like built-in boxers or something to protect his skin. So that's interesting. Very nice. And lots of details. Look at this. So everything is actually like sewn on, not just printed to make it look like there's something more there than it is. It's got like a separate waistband here. It's stretchy. It's beautiful. Love it. And this would probably look really cute on my girls too. Now as for my boy here. As for my boy, he's got this tattoo, which is the cutie mark that you will find on Rainbow Dash in the cartoons. And that's basically a cloud with rainbow striking through it. His legs are protected with plastic. We're going to take that off. And other than that, he doesn't have any other marks on him. Okay. And then his face. On camera, it looks like he's got like pink lipstick almost. <laughs> his lips are pink. In person, they're a little bit more flesh toned than they appear on camera. It's a more subtle pink hue. But they are definitely pink in color, you guys. So if you're not a fan of that, you can most likely remove that from your doll. But I'm not sure because Integrity Toys dolls have harder heads, like their bodies. And so I'm not sure how they behave when you put acetone on them. I'll have to find out. So his hair is a combination of flocking around the edges and rooted hair at the top. I'm not certain because it's so gelled, like it's hard, I mean hard. It's so gelled I can't even lift it to show you guys how where the flocking starts and ends, but I don't know if I want to mess his hairstyle up so I'm going to leave him alone. Um, but I did want to show you that the flocking on his hair compared to a Barbie's flocking, there is some difference there. His hair looks like the actual pieces are longer and hers are very short and fuzzy, like felt almost. And then I have my guy doll here, Raymond, who also has flocked hair. And as you can see, his hair is like Tika's. It's very fuzzy and short and the strands are not really visible, whereas with Sonic Rain Boom, you can actually see those hairs. So I wanted to show you that there's a little bit of a difference between how Integrity did his and how Barbie does theirs. And also, I've got Raymond here wearing shoes, 
and he look at how much shorter he is compared to this guy with no shoes on. I mean, Sonic has no shoes on right now, and look at how much taller he is. So there's absolutely a height difference between these guys. And here is Tika with shoes on next to Raymon. Very similar in height, although he's still a little bit taller. And then here she is next to Sonic, a whole head shorter than him. And I'm going to show you how he compares next to my other Integrity doll on her original body. See, Griselda is nearly as tall as he is, and she's wearing high heels at the moment. So, well, if I took her shoes off, she'd be a little bit shorter than him, but they're a little closer in height. Isn't that cool? I love that. So we want a closer look at his face. He has closed lips, which I adore. A very distinct nose sculpt, but it's not like... A stereotypical wide nose that you would see on a lot of black doll sculpts. His nose is still a little bit like pointy almost. And then he's got really dark arched eyebrows and brown eyes that are painted. He does not have lashes. Very simple face up but his mold is so beautiful that they didn't really have to do much to bring out his good looks and just really nice features and his look at that even in his neck there's these ridges that and his body just has so much like muscle tone bone structure there's a lot of detail gone into him and articulation in his knees they do pivot and of course his ankles like I showed you earlier he's got a belly button <laughs> and he's got joints here in his elbows now his elbow joint is not the same as Griselda's she's got an actual ball joint in between in the socket and these two pieces are separate so it's like one two three pieces whereas he's only got two pieces in his arm so that's a little different and he's got a joint in his upper torso where he can move side to side but not front and back just to the side um, I feel like his movement is a little limited compared to my female doll she has way more movement I think in her joint up there she can bend over a little bit more but I guess that's okay and then he's got a pivotal neck or does he the thing is it pivots but not a whole lot like the movement in his head is not as articulate as her neck movement. Look at how much more I can move her head up and down and to the sides. Just tilting it. The tilt motion is lacking in the neck joint here. So I'm I don't know. It's probably because he's a guy doll and for whatever reason the fashion doll companies don't seem to put as much emphasis on detailing their male figures as much as they do the female figures. And that's disappointing because I think the boys should get just as much attention as the girls do. It could be that their body structures are a little bit different than the girls because of the proportions being wider. But I don't think that should make a really big difference because I don't think ball jointed dolls have that same issue like how in fashion dolls we have. So that was just my observation. And his joints move pretty easily. They're not stiff. Um... The only thing about that that would concern me is whether or not I'd have this problem with his knees buckling back. But actually for him, the problem is his torso. <laughs> this part is what moves too easily, I think. And he can sit in a chair. But see, see, I just let go of his leg and it just fell. Like his joints and his waist are a little bit loose. It could just be my doll, but that's something that I'm noticing, so I'm pointing it out. 
Um, okay, and the next thing I want to do is try on the outfit that I got him, which is from the Style Lab Color Infusion Collection. And I'm not certain if this outfit came originally on one of the Color Infusion dolls of the past, but so everything comes attached on this little piece of cardboard, and it includes a very stylish and real looking gold watch. A gold chain, which goes around your neck, of course. A pair of overalls with actual hooks here that close, like a real set. Isn't that awesome? So you could wear this probably a few different ways with the straps on or off. And oh my god, the fabric on this denim is super soft and thin. And it's got little buttons here where the pockets are. Looks like the pockets are real. And then a pair of, I'm not sure what these are. They feel like pants underneath, but they're like tight like leggings. And then a really sick pair of high top sneakers. Look like Air Force Ones almost. I am thoroughly impressed that this outfit was not packed with those annoying plastic cable ties like stuck to the clothes and the cardboard because then you have to fight with it to get it off and then it leaves holes in the doll's clothing. These were actually just sewn down right here and this thing was attached to the cardboard instead of it, the outfit. So everything was um, attached with string, with thread. Okay, so here are the individual pieces that came in this outfit. And you've got the overalls here that are shorts. And on my camera screen, these red parts look very, very bright red. But in person, they are not. It's actually a very um, subtle kind of a red color. So it's just my lighting that's making it look so bright. And look at these little clasps that you can open on one side here so that you can get the doll inside the outfit easier that's neat because real overalls do open like that with the little side action and then you've got pieces of thread here that you hook those onto and look it's got a real pocket here in the front which always comes in handy that's one of our favorite things about overalls is that big pocket in the front. <laughs> so all the pockets are real. Then we've got this really dope shirt. This is fresh on it. And those of you who don't realize what, what the significance of this word fresh is an Ebonics term, which is uh, kind of like black people, hip hop, urban dialect. Um, and in the hood, fresh is a word that we use to basically say that something is really cool, really neat, really awesome. When you're fresh, especially in um, fashion, we use that in context to talk about how someone's dressed a lot. So that's the significance of this word fresh here and the crown symbol. It's all very hip hop and it opens here in the back with the same kind of clasps the hooks that were on the overalls and the t-shirt is stretchy it's a really nice cotton material and it feels like a real shirt these pants that were supposed to be worn underneath and these are actually like leggings they're black they're plain but they're made to be kind of like um I don't know if you guys know that like in the hood guys wear um, thermal clothes and like long johns they wear them under their clothes a lot to keep warm in um, cool weather so if it was like a, a spring night or an autumn night and in the daytime it's hot enough for you to wear short sleeves but in the nighttime it might start to get a little bit breezy this is something that you might throw on under your clothing to keep warm and that has kind of been made into a style so I, I kind of like that and then it's unique it's, it's different you don't really see that for dolls then we've got 
the sneakers. And these shoes, oh boy, oh boy. These shoes, where do I begin with these shoes? I don't know. First of all, the soles, they're like real. <laughs> it's like an actual sole down there. All this is textured. And everything feels like suede and leather. Um, just like on a real shoe. And they're soft. It's fabric. You've got this buckle here for this little strapped on piece. And then you can actually pull that off. This is just like a real shoe, you guys. And inside, I might have to undo the laces for these even though I don't want to. There's an actual tongue and there's fabric. I don't even know how, how they make things so tiny like this. This has got to be so difficult to do. And this is why the Integrity to Toys dolls, their prices are so high because you're not just getting a doll. You're getting so much, I mean, detail and realism in the clothing that this is not something you're ever going to find with a with a Barbie doll. I mean, even the high-end collector dolls, they're not on this level of detail when it comes to the accessories, shoes. You just don't get that with Mattel. And you could have paid the same $100, $130 for your Mattel doll, and they just aren't on that level when it comes to the detail. Just standard, all Integrity Toys dolls are like this. Um, and here is the chain that would go around his neck. Very hip hop. <laughs> Just, you guys, the fact that they kept so true to hip hop culture in creating this outfit speaks like volumes to me because they are really appreciating the diversity and culture and authenticity and not just treating it like a fad or some rap gimmick look at this freaking thing look at these little look there's like individual pieces that make up the band just like a real watch that's amazing look at this thing it's so tiny it's like real jewelry crazy Oh my gosh, and it doesn't open so you're going to have to take the wrist off in order to get, or his hands off to get it over his wrist. So I decided to take this opportunity to switch his hands to his gripping hands so I could put on his um, watch and his clothes and these dolls are made to have removable wrists so that you can easily dress them without ruining their clothing. But here he is, all dressed up, and he's got his little chain on, he's got the shirt on, the pants underneath, these had elastic waistband as well as the little hooks to clasp everything in, and then the shoes were the hardest to get on because they're so tiny, all the little doodads that you have to mess with in order to get the shoes on and then tie everything up, but, and I think this outfit is amazing, it's so authentic, and versatile because you can take the pieces and mix match with some other things so I really like it a lot this is probably the most authentic to hip-hop outfit that I have for my boy dolls right now which is just incredible so there he is I hope you guys enjoyed this review I've got another integrity toys mail doll to share with you guys soon so stay tuned for that or subscribe and follow us on Instagram and have a dolly day. But no. But no. But no.